Last night, uh, as we have had in, uh, on several other occasions, uh, the prisoners have refused to rack, as we call it, and this is uh, at bedtime. The uh, prisoners was causing quite a bit of disturbance last night, and when you go up to check these things, uh, there are several indications that there might be some problems. First problem is that, uh, uh, the first indication rather to a problem is that the uh, they will fail to pass out spoons or uh, other eating utensils. After that, they may fail to pass out the equipment that's so vitally needed to keep the cell areas clean. And then when you go back and check later and you find that the doors are tied and that uh, mattresses are piled up behind the doors so that uh, uh, for all practical purposes uh, and to their way of thinking that nothing can be done about it, why, then you know that uh, something is brewing. This was true last night. We went up there and we asked them to rack, to remove all the ties, to take their mattresses down They're for the purposes of sleeping. And that when they refused, uh, many of the comments were that we're through talking. Uh, now we're, we're going to have to do something else then we have no alternative but to move in and take over our jail. What did you do uh, specifically to bring that under control? First of all, we went in with, uh, with water. This moved them back so that we could move in and untie the main doors. We uh, cut the, uh, the bindings on the main doors and then moved in with dogs to move the people back so that we could get them out. I'm charged with the responsibility of operating this jail. We have a good jail. As long as I'm sitting here in this chair, I'm going to run that jail. The out outside elements to uh, whom I refer are those people who, uh, who go about the country advocating just this sort of thing. Uh, I think that in the, uh, some of the things that the uh, prisoner said, the last ones that we talked to, I think you'll find on page 37A of the Dallas Times Herald, uh, and these are things that were said outside. Do you expect any contact with uh, with uh, other jail uh, officials and so forth around the country uh, concerning outbreak just like you had last night? I suspect that we will. I'm sure that we will because I would say that by and large this was a successful operation. It's something that we don't like to do, but sometimes you have to do it, and if we have to do it again, you can bet that we will, because we are going to run this jail. And uh, they, there are people who will contact us to see what methods we use that were successful. Sheriff, uh, why, why, did you ta why did you let the prisoners hold that press conference? Because uh, the first group that I talked to did not want to air their complaints uh, to, the, to the press. The second group said that they did, and I have no objections to those people making their complaints known. What about in the future? Uh, we're not going to turn the jail loose to air their complaints, either individually or in concert with one another. Uh, we just have to, to uh, handle that position or that situation when it arises. I'm not going to allow people to roam my jail uh, and uh, conduct investigations that I conduct. Sheriff, uh, what would you, after speaking of outside elements or all around the country and so forth, and taking into consideration some of the prisoners' complaints, what would you personally say caused the outbreak last night? Well, there could have been a couple of things. Uh, probably one of them was that uh, the uh, night that we talked to the last group, uh, they were making remarks like, well, we've got nothing to lose. Uh, I don't know, uh, know what their thinking is in that area. Uh, apparently, we have a, a lot of people in this jail who feel that they're not guilty. I don't know what those individual cases are. Apparently, the jury of their peers felt that they were. Are there any uh, uh, basis of fact for some of these complaints the prisoners have been making? Well, I think we're in a number of areas here. Uh, I think all of us at time to time have said, uh, well, that this or that 
piece of food is no good. When, when maybe we're saying, I don't like squash, or I don't like greens, or something of this nature. You led the, uh, the quiet down team, or whatever it was, into the thing without any weapons or helmet on or any, anything like that. Did you meet with any physical resistance? Uh, no, I didn't. Uh, I did not. What were your What were your feelings about uh, why didn't you have on a helmet and a vest or whatever it was? Well, I think this. First of all, uh, a helmet is sometimes uh, disguises the looks of a person. And uh, when I go into these places, I want them to know who I am and who they're dealing with. And uh, there wasn't any question about it. You know. and it, it did have a, a noticeable effect on... I think it does have, yes. Uh -huh. I, uh, I go in there with the idea that if we can talk these people into doing things, this is the best way to do it. Uh, and if they can't, then you have to pull out, uh, get the force that's necessary, and then do the job. Sheriff... Uh, you have a, uh, a very Im impressive array of makeshift weapons and whatever out here. Uh, uh, how do the prisoners go about getting those things together? Well, I think some of the more impressing, Im impressive weapons that you, you refer to are probably uh, pieces off of bunks. There are some uh, laboratory basins and things of this nature out there that have been broken up and they have jagged and sharp points. There are some razor blades. Uh, there are jagged pieces of glass. There are heavy pieces of metal that are wrapped in, uh, uh, in thongs that can be used as weapons. Uh, there are garbage can lids. Uh, there are spoons that are bent and uh, sharpened, uh, uh, wrapped with uh, pieces of blankets and things of this nature and it it did, really doesn't take a great deal of ingenuity uh, just about anything that you can hit somebody with why well, it makes a good weapon how many uh, officers were injured in that by those things um, we had about six or eight injured yes badly well we don't know about two of them we had one man who uh, has suffered a heart attack we have one man who, uh, whose condition is yet undetermined. As I believe it's his left shoulder. Did they tear the jail up, Sheriff? We got several thousand dollars worth of damage, and this amounts more, more to uh, light fixtures, plumbing fixtures, and glass.